This week was a mixed bag of confusing variables. I'm Tony with Clarkson Santoro, and this is our real estate update for the week of Friday, May 24th. We know that selling or buying a home can be very stressful and confusing. That's why we do these weekly videos so that you can know how the market is impacting your options as a home seller or buyer. Let's start by looking at how the market performed this week. There are now 40 active homes on the market, which is three fewer than we had last week. The average asking price of those homes is 2,014,000, down from last week's average asking price of 2,092,000. Seven homes went pending, one less than last week, with an average asking price of those pending homes at 2,103,000 down from last week's average asking price of those pending homes of $2,252,000. And 12 homes sold this week, uh, much more than the seven we had last week, with an average closing price of $2,140,000, down significantly from the average closing price of $2,315,000 last week. So now that we know how the market performed this week, we can look at the broader trends that help us determine where the market might be heading. But before we look at those trends, if you find this information helpful, you can subscribe so you don't miss out on future updates. And why not share it with a friend also? Everyone deserves to be in the know about their local real estate market. All right, let's look at those uh, market indicators, shall we? Inventory dropped back down a little this week. Just a, notice, just a bit. It's still holding in the higher range compared to the last uh, year, um, but it is no, noticeably lower than a normal summer market. The decrease in inventory could be caused by sellers waiting to come onto the market until after this holiday weekend. So it will be interesting to see if next week, if the, uh, if the inventory increases. The lack of coming soon listings means that it's not likely. Even though the inventory number dropped this week, our market turnover rate came down as well. It now sits at 88% of a normal market. This is a 30 day number, so one week of inventory reduction won't immediately cause the turnover rate to jump back up. But if landing sa uh, pending sales stay low, the turnover rate won't be back above 100 anytime soon. This is an important thing to bear in mind if you are considering selling, as homes start to stay on the market longer, it come, becomes more important to prepare your house to show extremely well to convince the buyers that waiting to see how your house does isn't a good approach. <clears throat> the over-under number continues to perform well, increasing this week to an average of 118,000 above asking, or 5.5%. Those sales numbers are coming from properties that went pending when we were in the market rate, turnover rate of about 200%. Now that the turnover rate has been falling, I do expect to see this over under number to start reducing uh, as the posting sales prices come much, uh, much closer to, the, to their asking price over the uh, next, by the end of next week or next month. Same thing can be said for the average sales price as well. It also increased this week up another $12,000 with an average price of now at $2,670,000. We are now at a 20% property value increase compared to last year. Just like the over under number, I do expect the average sales price to, of, to at least level off if not dip down a little next month with the turnover rate slowing down so much. The good news is for homeowners is that even if prices do soften up a little, they've experienced such a significant amount of property growth in the past few months uh, that they should still see a significant equity growth despite what the market does in the coming month. The Triple Q Fund stayed relatively flat this week. Up there. Um, creeping up just about a, a less than 1% from last week. That amount of movement really doesn't have a big impact on the housing market, 
But the good news is that stock portfolios holding value will mean that buyers in our area are able to maintain a large supply of funds for down payment, which can lead them to feel more comfortable purchasing even in a market with higher interest rates. And speaking of those interest rates, uh, they have continued their slow creep back down this week, falling another eight basis points. And we're now sitting um, underneath that 7% mark, which we haven't seen uh, for a few months now. This is uh, four weeks in a row that rates have regressed slightly. The rates still remain high, and they are still higher than they were a few months ago, back here. Um, but rates not increasing is always a good sign for both buyers and sellers. This week was a mixed bag of information from the indicators we rely on to help understand how the market is moving. Inventory dropping usually means that market is picking back up, but the reduced turnover rate would suggest that it's not picking up. The lagging indicators continue to remind us how fast the market was moving just a couple of weeks ago, which can provide some false confidence to sellers bringing their house onto the market right now. And then the predictive indicators point to a market that is more flat than anything, not really heating up or cooling down. The Memorial Day weekend does tend to signal the start of the summer market and means that this week could just be a hiccup in whatever trends the market might be moving towards. So all this is uh, to say, I think that next week will give us a better understanding of which direction the market is moving towards for the summer. Thank you for joining us uh, for this weekly update. I hope it helps you understand how our market is impacting your options. Don't forget to follow the, uh, hit the subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell so you can stay informed on how this market continues to shape up this year. And if you have any questions about how you can navigate this stressful and confusing process of selling or buying a home, leave a comment down below or reach out to us directly. We're here to help you uh, guide you every step of the way. Have a safe Memorial Day weekend. We'll see you next week with a new update.